Hey there, I'm Virgola, and you're listening to A Pop in the Life, Pod Fashions of a Founder's Pop. In this walking podcast, I will tell you all about my life with mom, who's a startup founder, talking startups, entrepreneurship, but also other interesting topics such as mental health and a bit of fun too. Join us in this walk of life. Hey there, this is Bergola and this is, again, we're back with the pop in the life. I'm really sorry if we weren't able to produce much in the last days, but it's mom's fault. As you know, we just um, lost for a moment our mics and she also was in Milan uh, doing some work. And so here we are back. Um, we're recording this after a long day alone. <laughs> um, and uh, alone, I mean, the, the two of us together, so it's never alone. But uh, having done much of our lives because it's very hot where we live. And so, yep, um, nothing new, nothing much. And actually just uh, trying to survive. Anyways, um, it's been a long day of doing many things uh, for mom. For me, it was mainly, it was mainly sleeping. And um, what I, was, uh, I wanted to share is actually many, many things today, um, which we have on our plate. But um, what I would like for us to really get on is uh, asking ourselves how are we fueling our machine so i'm already started uh studying a bit of biohacking and um and just trying to understand what what this is all about and how it can be used to improve our own uh life and um yeah i mean um she was actually you know thinking about how can we make our lives better, uh, especially when it comes to stuff that we understand uh, just for for tiny, tiny bit, which is actually our health and what goes inside our body and, and whatnot. So um, the first question that then mom got asked in, in, in the, in the hack, uh, biohacking course by Dave Asprey was, uh, like, do you actually know what's going on inside your body when you eat certain amount of time? types and amounts of food? Well, the answer is you don't, because nobody knows, um, apart from the people who actually keep measuring it. And so the point of this podcast is not, it's not actually measuring everything. It's just thinking that if you start to do so, you might probably find yourself in a way in which you really get to understand how to feel better. And so the real question is, what are you fueling yourself with? So what is the exact thing that you're putting in your body as an input to expect yourself to get an output that is sustainable and and cool and and achievable and and that that makes you feel fulfilled, right? And so the problem with that is if you think about, for example, you want to have, uh, for example, want to be very energetic because you work a nine to five, then you have a side hustle, uh, then you might do also do some sports and you have a girlfriend, you have a boyfriend, maybe you also have a kid, um, not a very young kid because otherwise it's just too, too difficult to, to say that this is uh, enough um, energy level. Um, well, then you can say, okay, um, I do all of that, but I go to sleep very late at night. I watch lots of of movies, lots of TV. Uh, I, I just scroll through my phone, yeah, um, at night, and it's never there's, there's never a moment in which I go to sleep before I don't know midnight. And then you find yourself waking up at six thirty because that's what you need to do to keep all your stuff going. There is a problem. There is a problem, and the problem is you're not getting enough sleep, right? Let me give you another example. So actually, you're never gonna achieve that objective. So let me give you another example. Let's say uh, I want to go to dog training, to scent training, uh, scent detection training. Mom doesn't bring treads. Can I perform effectively dog training? No, because treads are 
a great part of that. Let's do a third example, which is a bit more spiritual. So you, let's say, go to a, I don't know, you, you go through a phase in which you actually decide you need to, I don't know, learn how to meditate or feel better with yourself, lower your anxiety levels. And then you don't ever take a time off after calls. You just work also while you're eating your lunch. You keep working at night. You keep working at dawn. There, you, you do work on weekdays. Like you don't give yourself a break. So these three examples all lead to the same exact conclusion, which is be mindful of your inputs if you want certain outputs. Because all of our life is just, oh, yeah, okay, this is how you get your output, which is stop smoking, stop drinking, um, be happier, uh, be less full of anxieties, uh, be more, um, you know, flirty and, and be more, um, I don't even know how to say this in English, but like, be a better date um, and be more attractive, um, lose weight, blah, 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 blah. And we have, we have all of that. I have more energy. And we got hacks to do it. And it's so funny. I'm just saying it after a glass on biohacking. But anyways, um, you have this. And then you have the idea that you're not, not, not even thinking about inputs. Because there, there is no hack that just doesn't... I mean, the hack is sleep more. The hack is just go talk to more people and, and gather feedback. The hack is just write stuff down if you keep forgetting it. I mean, I mean, the hack is very boring if you think about it. I mean, there are hacks, but hacks only work if the basics work. And so the real question that I have on a Monday, you know, I mean, it, it is a bit, a bit, um, it is a bit heavy, I get it, but it's so important to ask yourself this. What is the fuel? What is the input that you're putting inside your machine to make it work? Is it a good enough input to make the machine work at a point to which the machine starts responding, not just based on your intentions, but based on the inputs that you put them. Why? Because intentions don't matter if the material isn't right. You can't play the piano if there's no piano. You can mimic the moves of the hands and, and the feet, if there's no piano, no sound is coming out. So what is exactly that you're putting inside? Who are the people whom you're talking with? What is the food that you're eating? How is your sleep hygiene? Life is just so simple that you would take the best things that grandmoms and granddads always say, and the normal things, the 10 things that medicine would just say to you. These are the basics. How well are performing your basics? My guess is, is at least in one area of our lives, otherwise it would just be perfect. There is something that you want to improve and there is something that you're not performing so good through the basics. And that's where you need to change the inputs. And that's where you need to keep track because then you can change the inputs. This is where I wanted to get um, for the podcast of today because I, I really do feel there is, there is a link missing between what we've been told, what we keep being told, and the only real stuff that we need to do in order for us to feel better, which is put the fucking work at work, <laughs> but with the right inputs, because with, without the right inputs, we would just, you know, do nothing. I mean, worst case scenario, it gets worse. Best case scenario, nothing is happening, but you grow frustrated because nothing is happening. So be mindful of your inputs and let me know if this podcast was useful. If you found out about your inputs, we are on a journey together. We've been, we are trying our best to understand and get to know our inputs. And yes, you can hear me right here right here um mommy's driving so i will say bye and talk to you soon and um send you 
loves, kisses, hugs, and a bit of barks, as always. Ciao! Hey, it was great to walk with you today. I hope to see you again around soon. By the way, in the meantime, you can find me on mom's social media. If you look for Marta Basso, which is M-A-R-T-A-B-A-S-S-O. Yes, it's Marta without an H. Just find us, send us a like, a comment, a message, reshare the episode if you liked it. I will send you all my hugs and kisses and a bit of barks as well. Listen, oh, sorry, walk with you next episode. Bye.